Hey, it's me, Embrix, and um, before this video, uh, I hope I did upload them in the correct order, uh, the one that came out was a non-spoiler, a spoiler-free review of the Lake Movie 2. Well, for those of you who have seen it, here is a spoiler review of the Lake Movie 2. So, uh, let's talk about where it ranks within my four mo the four Lego movies. I'd rank it right behind the Lego movie, which was my favorite. The original Lego movie, Lego movie 2, Batman movie, and then Ninjago movie. Obviously, Ninjago movie is the worst. And then, the only reason it beat the Batman movie was because of the twist at the end where Rex was Emmett's brother. So, yeah. that w no, Sorry, not brother. That's what we all assumed. Uh, Rex was Emmett from the future. That, that was crazy. But anyway, I'll talk about the story more later on. For the sets, though... Oh my god, they more than covered it. We got a triple-decker catchback, which we definitely didn't need. Like, <coughs> excuse me, I have a bit of a sore throat. But it got um, exploded so soon. And then Emmett's tricycle, we saw in a small scene. Uh, we even got the kind of escape buggy in a small scene. Like, the only sets we needed was the kind of um, space palace. Ah, we didn't really need that. The shine and the shine and shimmer kind of spa, Benny's space card. We didn't need though. I'm still happy that's on the market. Like there's just so much we didn't need, but you know all the planets, uh, queen, whatever I wanna be talks about in her song. Yeah, I'd like to see more of those in the movie and then get sets on those. But surprisingly, with all the sets we did get that we didn't need, we didn't get a set that we really needed, which was the huge birthday cake or wedding cake at the end. And yeah, it makes me kind of sad that we get so many movies for this when we still have scenes missing from Infinity War, like Vormir and other things like that. But I'm mean, not going to talk about it too much because it would make me sad. But anyway, um... The story itself, let's see, it started uh, with the Duplo coming, and then five years later, which it's actually been five years since the Lego movie, which is surprising, because that's half as long as the MCU has lived, but it feels like the MCU is way longer. But anyway, um, i definitely like to see more of Apocalypseburg, but too bad we didn't get too much of that, and... Uh, out of the apocalypse for characters, I thought they were all hilarious, especially Larry Poppins. <laughs> but then, um, and we ba barely saw the sewer babies. But anyway, after that, uh, they said the Justice League. I'd love to get a shirtless Aquaman. And then they um, got captured, and Emmett was on his way. And then Rex saved him. And again, it just blew my mind that Rex was Emmett's... Um, uh, Emmett from the future I keep almost saying brother but anyway um, yeah it was just fun overall and I think kids will this could be a kids favorite Lego movie because you know the kids would really like uh, the whole space theme and things like that but I don't know definitely felt different than other Lego movies and the only thing that made me like it better than Batman again was the whole ending and the twist and our mama getting was super cool like uh just uh, I love the storyline, how, like, this definitely explored more of the real world, like, the non-Lego world concept, where, like, he was trapped under the washer dryer, and things like that, and then Armageddon was them being put away, and that was pretty cool, but, yeah, uh, I definitely liked it, and, uh, I would see it again, unlike the Lego Ninjago movie, but, yeah, I don't know, what's your ranking, like, rank all the Lego movies in the comments down below, and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.